Gotta get that touchdown here. Now this Gino is probably the play down. that we're needing. Geno Smith. The pressure right. Get that, baby. Oh, Will Disley coming in clutch. Touchdown. What's going on? It is your boy Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Madden 24 franchise video. Apologize that I haven't been recording lately. I have actually been dealing with a lot of personal issues, specifically my baby, my newborn baby, being sick, and it was not fun. Now we are back with the Madden franchise video. My, uh, unfortunately, my video or not my video, my previous save file corrupted, so I had to sim it as best as possible. I don't remember very well whose record had who. But at the very least, one thing I did get right, our record is still one and four. We did come off a loss against the Bengals, a really bad loss if you guys watched that video, and it was not a really good game. So we're one and four on the season, and our goal is to make the playoffs. As of right now, we're not projected to make the playoffs. If you guys believe we'll make the playoffs, let me know in the comment section down below. As a thank you for watching these videos, I might consider doing something if it's in, within my budget. Give me some ideas. I don't care what it is. Nevertheless, we are up against the Arizona Cardinals at home. So we all know the rules. If we are at home, we're going to go ahead and play all pro. And I'm hoping that we can pick up a W. If we can pick up a W, that's going to be amazing. We are forecasted heavy rain. And because we're forecasted heavy rain, I really want to limit throwing the ball in the air. So we're going to run the darn ball. And if we can run the ball, it's going to be a formula for success. Now, can we run the ball against a bad Cardinals defense is the question. We want to draft Michael Penix. If we can, if we end up falling and not making the playoffs, I really want to try to draft Michael Penix. If we can get him, that would be simply amazing. Buda Baker is one of the biggest threats that this Cardinals team has. If we look at the rankings, they're not very good offensively. They're not very good defensively. They're actually number 31st defensively. And surprisingly, we're number four thanks to the Sims that we've been doing. Our offense has been terrible. We're going to turn that around and our defense is probably going to be garbage <laughs> once we take control. I am a little bit bummed that we lost our file because Zach Charbonnet actually made a superstar uh, trait after the game last week. So without further ado, our weekly strategy, what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and half pad our players and we're going to split everything because fatigue is a real factor. As far as the quarterback goes, we're going to try to contain the scramble. If we can do that game plan for success, running inside is the key success. Looking good so far. Before we go forward, I'm going to go ahead and look at the injury report. So what does our injury report look like? We have no players injured. That's that's amazing. As for the Cardinals, um, I don't think the Cardinals have any significant injuries. If I recall, they got no players injured. Nobody has any players injured. Is it the setting? Did I get the setting incorrect? Injuries are stupid low. I don't want them that low. We want them at, at um, I think I had them at 20 actually. That's probably why everybody is healthy. Nevertheless, um, so both teams are really, really healthy, awkwardly healthy if you ask me. And that means we're going to go ahead and set up our goals. What I really want to do, I want to allow Allow under no I don't think we can allow under 200 yards I do think we can get 15 plus first downs we're really good at using the offense I want to get 300 plus offensive uh, yards 150 in the air 150 on the ground if possible and we want to allow 20 points or less I think our defense at least from what I saw on the simulation and on paper we're pretty dang good in addition to this we want to get to the quarterback we want to get the sack numbers up i don't understand how we're a top defense but cannot get to the quarterback how does that even work do not ask me i do not know looking at the cardinals kyler murray is having himself a pretty decent season 1200 pass yards with five passing touchdowns and six interceptions kind of crazy james connor at 364 rush yards pretty good so far averaging four yards a carry and rushing touchdowns, Kyler Murray leads the pack along with Michael Carter. Kind of crazy. Rondell Moore is a threat with 363 yards. 13 uh, yards per reception is kind of a lot. We really want to try to double team Moore or Marquise Brown. I mean, our corners are really, really good. And if we can just leave them and man coverage every once in a while, we should be perfectly fine. Looking at their defense, I think they have a... Uh, yeah, we, we noticed that they don't have the best defense. Kaiser White, 51 tackles, leading the team by a mile. He's their middle linebacker. Tackles for loss, they got nine with Xavier Collins, the right outside linebacker. And 
sacks, they are also kind of average at sacks. Anthony Brown is a threat at corner with two. Uh, nothing too crazy as far as interception goes. We're going to try to target Rashan or Rashad Fenton as much as possible and try to avoid Buda Baker. Buda Baker can force some fumbles. He can try to get some picks. He can do a lot of crazy stuff. And I really want to try to stay away from him as much as possible. Nevertheless, let's take a deep dive and look at their X factors. They only got Buda Baker. It's week seven of the NFL. And we're watching the longtime star Bobby Wagner. He put up numbers last week with a nine tackle performance. It's the Seahawks and the Cardinals next on Madden Football. Well, no trip to the Northwest would be complete without a little rain, and we've got a lot of rain falling right now at Lumen Field in downtown Seattle. Today, we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 as it will be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Seahawks team as they get ready here. And they lost three straight here, and it goes without saying, I guess, they could certainly use a win. And how do they get a win? Because they've lost three straight, I think it's paramount that they get a fast, clean start to this game. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, they come into this one 0-6 on the year, and really, it's sort of just been one thing after another. Coupled with, they don't start very fast. The first quarter's really been an issue for them. They've got to learn to get out of the gates quicker in order to try and win some games. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, week seven is Here we go. Underway. Kickoff has started. Sports. Can we get a big return? And we get nothing. And able to get this out to the 25. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. One of the biggest things that and feedback that I got from the community, and thank you all for watching, is commentating while playing. I'm going to try my best to do that. I don't think we're going to do really good, but we got a big yard by Ken Walker. Six yards. Here we go. We're slowly going to implement Zach Charbonnet in this game. I really want to try to get the, the ball going with Ken Walker as much as possible. We're just going to keep it on the left. Here we go. This is going to be big. First down. I really want to pound the rock with Ken Walker. And if we can pound the rock, we can later set them up and punch them in the mouth with Zach Charbonnet. So we're going to focus on the run game as much as possible. We're probably going to see them stack the box a lot, just like we are right now. Yeah, no doubt about that. There's a difference between... We don't want them to stack the box forward. super, super bad. Can't move Ken Walker, so we'll just leave him. On second down, it's Big Walker. gain by Ken Walker. Able to get this one across the 45. If we continue to pound the rock, this is actually going to open up a little bit of... It's going to open up the pass game with play action pass and whatnot. And we can then attack him through the air. They run again with Walker. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line. We can already see that they're starting to blitz. We're going to go ahead and pass the ball. Smith Nijigba has been a pretty good asset when we have played. So hopefully he steps up a little bit. Will Disley, I believe that was Will Disley with a pretty good game. And we're in third and manageable. I was thinking a lot about the players that we should resign or should not resign. And Will Disley is someone that we really want to try to keep. I don't know if we'll keep Noah Fant, considering Smith. we haven't used them as much as we have he go from there. This to Walker. That is brought down shortly. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Well, Cardinals offense set to take over for the first time, and they are piloted by their fifth-year quarterback, two-time Pro Bowler as well, Kyler Murray. So this is what we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? Turn that was a good run a by Kyler Murray, and if I don't show that clip, it's because my controller disconnected for a quick second. This is a run. On first and ten is counter. We'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. One player I want to try to keep is Jordan Brooks. We've got to develop him, though. Imagine if this group. This is going to be another run. This is going to be either the outside, though. Get him, Diggs. Get him, Diggs. And he'll be stopped a little bit of a sloppy tackle, but at least we got a stop. But the key to good rushing defense is to play the short pass. We should be okay. Press the corners. Now defend the middle. Defend the middle. Defend the middle. There's Murray. Try to punch the ball out. 
this one across the 35. We might have to place a spy on him if he keeps this up. Let's see. We're going to shadow inside. There it is. There it is. Good tackle. We're going to hit that defense here. It looks like we're getting this on the left side. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver. Goes out of the sack. Can Walker play action? We're going to get him going. He's open. This is a game. Throw out wide to Walker. He's through it short. But it's still a first down. We're playing a little bit predictable now, and I don't expect for us to convert. It's still early enough in the game where we don't have to convert and let the defense do their thing. So, oh, open right here, converted. Tyler Lockett dropped the ball. Complete on the drop. That's what he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Honed in on it and stopped him. Don't let me down. He's never had all these years. Oh, this is wide open. Big catch. Catch and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. I got a feeling that they're gonna play the pass a little bit, so we're gonna spread out our defense a little bit. If they want to try to hit us on the ground, they definitely can. It looks like they are. This is Connor taken down at the 47 yard line. We're gonna continue to play this pass a little bit. We're gonna shadow Rondell Moore. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving. There, get there your they are. Going. Oh, that's a good block. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. I think that that might be something Early we down, see we're going to take a risk with the blitz today. and Ways see if we can get down so to Kyler Murray. That would be amazing. It's a run. They're going to get it. It's uh, no gain. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. We're going to hit the flat just in case they want to try to go for a short pass. However... I want to put... Gonna get it. This is a run. Again, it's Connor. We're tired with Bobby Wagner. Oh, Connor is injured this. now. Hang on here because he appears to be shaking. It's a big up. loss for them. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. We've been playing a Here's lot of cover two this is third and when it comes to short. Third and short. So we're gonna go ahead and take it a take a different approach and play my coverage. Get the little pick there. And that's a good stop and a breakup. We're going to force the field goal. Yeah, this game is still within reach. Miss it. It's raining. They can potentially miss this. We're feeling good. Because of the angles of approach. I should have rushed from the other side. And they're going to get it. Panic as well. But I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. We got to give defense a little bit of rest. Look, we got an opportunity to hit the ball deep here. Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to come on, get some somebody go open, and I get the sack. What do we need to do? Cover nine, show two. Considering we've been playing a lot of cover two. Got the lead in the football. Oh, I should have called flat. To get downhill there, so he'll take this up to about the 37. I go way back in football. They used to have a coverage There's the end of the first quarter. They're actually playing a lot better deep. football than we are. Now you want to try and move that umbrella up front with Kyle. I kind of want now, to leverage the short pass Hawks game come up first and, and then pick up the run. But I don't know line. if we can. We got nothing. That's intentional and grounding because we couldn't field somebody. I think he's out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. Intentional grounding. Awesome. I'm going to be honest, I really thought that we were going to shoot the receiver and throw it out of bounds, but no, that was just sloppy. Ken Walker, big run, back to the line of scrimmage. All right, here we go, third and nine. What we're going to go ahead and do, considering the pressure that they're putting in, we're going to throw a little screen. And this is going to be short. Did he get it? All right, Gino. We got an opening right there in that gap on the left. Here we go. First down. And he is going to have a Seahawks first. Now we're going to go ahead and bring in Zach Charbonnet. The 31 now on first Here we go. We're going to pound this rock. Now it's the rookie from UCLA, pretty good. Zach Look at this truck. Oh, no. And pretty good run. And a big injury for us with Abe Lucas. Hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. I think we got him pinned with the run. And what we're going to go ahead and do here, we're going to hit the play action, try to hit him deep down the middle. Off of play action. Here's There's Tyler Lockett right there. Oh, that's a pick. Oh, Tyler Lockett came in clutch. Got hit as I threw it. And he's got this down to the 35. 
Lucas is out with the Bruce Sternum. That's pretty, pretty big loss for us. Here comes the counter. Nothing. We got an opportunity to score here. I'm going to try to take a shot. Try to take a shot on the post down the middle. There he is. Oh, we got sacked. I had no chance to look up and throw. So as soon as I drop back and finish the drop back, I get sacked. Look at that. Not even a second after I finish the drop back. It's third and 18. Not the best spot for us, so we're going to try to get the uh, the Ohio concept and maybe a shot to DK if, allow, if that allows. Good catch by, by Smith. And another lineman injured, Charles Cross. That's a big loss as well. I'm going to be 100% honest. I do not trust Jason Myers, especially in the rain. But we're going to try it anyways. 53-yard field goal, and Myers that's in. Is good. That will tie us at three three. So that Charles, a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? Charles Cross is out with the dislocated yeah, the elbow. Drive ratio. Pretty big blow, considering one. that's our blind side. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way oh, to finish school, these drives picked that and end zones. Or made a play on the ball. The balls go through goal posts. I think they're starting to realize that we're putting a spy on Kyler Murray. He hasn't been able to scramble a whole lot since the last two plays. Outside run here. Nobody can get him. And he gets the first down. We're going to try to contain him once again. We're going to play as Brooks. You guys probably think this game is a snoozer considering the amount of field goals that we've kicked. This is a run. Oh, we just got flattened. And a big run by Michael Carter. Here we go. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Double move. Can someone get him? Somebody get him. And he's corralled. And another injury for us, Daryl Taylor. Big game by Kyler Murray. We're gonna get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured. We're gonna continue to play cover two here. They don't know we're playing cover two. This is oh quarterback keep it here on first and two. Oh, that's a touchdown. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. So That's a good rush zone, and a good fake, too. And then it got a good block by his arm, lineman, his left tackle. Well. We had an Coming injured player on uh, that Seahawks last kick offense. return. I think it was Dwayne Eskridge. We got last a wide open player. Tyler Lockett. Oh, oh, man. He just swatted that ball, too. I think what we really got to do on offense, we need to try to get the ground game established again. We're not playing a lot. They'll We're not playing good ground. football, Carter. straight up. It was Jaron Reed. That was a good stop. Brandon it's time to get well. Zach Charbonnet established here. They're stacking the box just a tad, but I think we are good to run here. And now there you go. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across. Mid this is exactly where we wanted to get him involved. Seven. Him now and Ken Walker can be a pretty lethal combination. We're going to try this play again. We're going to try to run it. Not the same play as last time. This is actually going to be a. Walker now. I think it's a halfback slam. There goes Ken Walker, baby. About two yards shy of the marker. They must have seen something in the sky. Has been a pretty good drive so far for us. Can't stall out here. Play action pass. Possibly in the open Might get this too. Why? Right here. Wide open. To get the running game going back inside. Got to continue to complement that run game. Look at how much dividends it's paying for us. We're going to run this ball. This is a touchdown, baby. Let's get it. Big touchdown by Ken Walker. Ken Walker. His first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Seahawks are an extra point away from evening this one up. Sometimes you really good run. We got a big gap. Eight, nine yard and they just couldn't thinking, stop him. His we'll first touchdowns first down of the season, I believe. More sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. Watch when you for the scramble here. This is the scramble just a bit. Devin Weatherspoon, good breakup. Made up for that because he was open for a second. Cover one. Blitz these players. 
They don't have great and leverage. I'm gonna and try to take a shot myself. Oh, and side. that was a good breakup. Who else? Devin Weatherspoon, his second breakup of the game. We're running the ball a lot on first down, so maybe what a breakup tendency is just attack here. Get the ball to DK Metcalf. He's open. And a good catch. Gain of five. Pretty decent game. They got a little lucky considering that they didn't. They didn't call the injury during the two-minute timeout. And there you go. Good tackle by Bobby Wagner. Okay, here we go. Third and seven. Chance to get the ball back. They still have two timeouts. But here we go. Oh, we left that open. That was on me. Outside linebacker. Line, outside linebacker blitz here. See if we can get a little bit of pressure off of him. Oh, he still got that. Boom, gets the tackle. No huddle. Here we go. Mike Blitz. See if we can put a little bit of pressure. To throw is Murray. Nothing. Oh, there you go. Sack, baby. The call tap it too. Hustling to the line. On second down, here's Murray. Get him, carry him. Oh, that's open. This is taken in by McBride. Here comes the field goal. They're a touchdown away from breaking our goal. 20 points or less. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So it was fourth down and one in the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. And I'll okay, half first half was somewhat fun. of a success. We had a lot of missed opportunities. With our EA they honestly report. controlled the Here's entire Jonathan game. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven. We'll start our tour out in the city of Angels, Los Angeles. And that one currently at the half with a score 16 to 7. Jalen Warren, a touchdown run in that first half. Let's stay in the AFC West to check out what's going on with the Chiefs at home in Arrowhead. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting LA Chargers. Rasheed Rice up over 100 yards receiving with two touchdown grabs. Lastly, we're off to the Rocky Mountains, Denver, Colorado. See what's happening with the Broncos. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. The Packers trying to finish that one off and claim victory. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some this success is a run. running the ball. Oh, we just got pancaked there. They got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here for their first drive in the third quarter. Now, and let's face it, they can continue to do Bobby Wagner is gassed. And in addition, oh, that's a pick, baby. Oh, that was straight to us, too. That was a momentum killer for them. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. That is a tough way to start the third quarter. You get the football, open it, drive it down, put it in the end zone. it straight to us. That was, they give them the football. without a and doubt, the, the easiest interception we've ever had. That is not how they drew it up. DK Metcalf might be able to get open on the middle. The it just depends on what we Smith. read. And it's going to be Will Disley, baby. Probably not That's a touchdown. To Disley, the but wide out. open. And he gets this one inside the 15 just a We got another injury timeout. Man, 10. this game is plagued with now injuries. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured car. Got to get that touchdown here. Now this Gino is probably the play that we're needing. Geno Smith. Eluding the pressure right. Get that, baby. Oh, Will and Disley coming in clutch. Touchdown. Will Disley. Wow, what a play by Geno Smith and Will Disley. That was probably the best play of the season. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they turn Geno Smith just rolls out to the right, sees Will Disley, hey, and he's covered. There, Will Disley just takes this off the hands boy, of number 56 well. and makes the touchdown. The down the what a play. Throwing their first interception, first interception the for Kyler Murray, yeah, some guys, you know they're going to watch and he pays for it. Costing his team a touchdown. Back. This is run. Big play by the defense, allowing nothing. For the defense, mm -hmm. a to try I don't like this. Back out of the backfield. I don't like this one bit, but hey, we're gonna try it out anyways. The spy. They run like bats. 
Knicks. And they take a lot of pride. And he misses. What a nice play he made. He's just been he off. I don't know if it's the wet balls. Pause. But man, defense has been defense keeping the offense in this game. Do you still think the spread return. is one? And, the cards will and do you still think that the 10. over and under is 40? Right now we're sitting at what? This is 40. 30. My bad. Ten, it's Carter. And he is met Sitting at 30. 10 points. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, oh, we got him. Oh, it's a fumble. Big loss by the Cardinals. And it's third and 20. Kyler Murray was hit hard after that. And he's injured. They're in need of some attention. Hopefully, oh, that's a big loss for them. Here. Medical staff though, going to take a peek. So With the backup quarterback, there, now they face a third day. we actually got to put pressure. We're going to put pressure. And we're going to play the pass. And oh, the they're, first they're max the protecting. He got it. It's a safety. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. So they go with the empty set, and that's the risk you Wow, right Trey there. Brown Nobody comes in clutch with that. Our that cornerback gets the sack when they see along with, Edward, with uh, Mario Edwards the exact and gets the safety. I think the blitz set, was the best call we could have made. Better than man coverage. Pay off in this case. Fortunately, their defense we're going to cover here. So they'll try this is going to be a run. Oh, and down. guess who? Andre Diggs. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Another lineman down for the Cardinals. Now, that run, an injury here, but no time to dwell Will on Disley that. Will has been hot all game. Here. We're going to keep him going. Nothing for here. him. Scramble a little bit. This new drive this attack. Go up. There you go. He's all oh, below. Come on. First down there, but it's incomplete. There's been a few good plays by each defense. The now, there's been a lot of punts, and this is a good game for the they defensive lovers players. out there. They want to see some offense. They want to see Devin some Bush injured. Another big error. injury for us. I mean, our depth now is just shrinking by the minute. Where the patience is on both sides. I really, really well. want to play the run here. Here's just left him wide open. That's on me. He's got his target. That's complete. Y'all still think this is going to be an under? Under 40? We're right there. Uh, give up the middle to Carter. There you go. And the result here, a pickup. Another eight. injury, Leads man. Two to go on second down. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal. And oh, sneak attack. They're going to run for it. And again, no way. I put my controller first. down well, they to Google something real quick. And this is what I get. Here's third and five. We're going to show cover two, but guess what? Cover one. I'm gonna go inside, aren't you? Look at this pick by Jackson. I told you they were not gonna score. And the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass. That's when you put in the trophy case. That was a good play by Mike Jackson. Look at this. Just undercuts it. And he's like, give me that ball. You can keep that one. Steals that ball from Michael Carter. What does he learn from it? Ender. It's gonna be a pass. Obviously going to be a pass. Without Kyler Murray, ain't no way they're gonna hit their passes. Hey, he can't throw it deep. He's gonna scramble. Get him. Oh, that's short. I was a little scared. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will and a pretty be decent kick. Not the best kick in the world. Bounds. But hey, that's the end of the third quarter. We're playing a lot better you are on the, sec the, on the second half. On they have more rush yards than us still. However, Back we got more pass yards. Seattle, hasn't been the best game for yeah, either team. Okay, we're going to show a little bit of pressure. Safety. This is going to be... Oh, that's time. open. Now a throw here. Hold in. It'll be a gain of five. And what's been a dormant this is a run. This oh, counter two. Easy. Guess who? Devin Bush. And that play go absolutely nowhere. Here's two. Oh, that's a sack. Boy in Mafe. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. You really start to monitor the clock. We got Will Disley on the primary lead. route. And he's oh, almost wide action. open. Here's oh, Smith. he got it. Big game for Will District. Well deserved too. We can potentially get the ball to DK Metcalf here. Oh, that we ran into the sack. That was really stupid. 
he's taken down. We're going to protect the blue this league or actually uh, neck below her here. Considering really he dropped the ball meeting. earlier. The guys right there, open. DK, who no else? They were on him in a hurry. Third and manageable. And DK is injured. There right now as we got an injury stoppage. It's DK Metcalf who's getting some help following that last play. Running into a couple of issues with a lot of key injuries. We got JSN Smith. on the left. Oh, Steps nope. away. X right here. Oh, good cat. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. It's Tyler Lockett. Who else? Jake Bobo 33. can potentially go deep. Play action. They it. fall for now it. Smith. Right there. Jake Bobo. Get it. Oh, aggressive catch. He made it. What a catch. One handed, too. What a catch with Jake Bobo. Geno Smith, clean pocket, shoots it deep. I thought that was going to be picked, not even going to lie. And look at the strength of Jake Bobo. DK's got a dislocated shoulder. He's out for the game. Not exactly what we're hoping for, but let's see. Who can get this touchdown? Who can get this TD? We'll throw that away. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the I think this is another grounding call. Run, all right? it was Man, number 75. Found a really good lineman. And frankly, oh, that's open. To stand on schedule on there Come on, love. Right Get this. That was a pretty big play. Arizona. Don't like the fact that we allowed the big play, but hey. From the shotgun, oh, that's... He'll look to throw. Get him. That's a sack, baby. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the now the under has an opportunity to hit. And this is going to be, we're going to defend the sticks here. This is definitely a cover four. And we got another sack of Boy Mafe having himself a game with two and a half sacks. Two plays in a row now that he has gotten in there for Who's the sack. Who's lots of sacks? Not us anymore. Down. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack? Oh. Here's the Seattle we gotta offense leverage the ground, to get the this ground game. Underway. Gotta run the football. Here's Walker Easy. To start the drive. Ken Walker Big breaking a tackle, the and that's a game of 10. Honestly, we're going to put this game away here. Let this clock drain just a little bit. That was not much. Oh, they got it. And they are going to stop them on oh, fourth and one. As Two score game with three minutes left. Playing a little predictable on offense, but hey, it is what it is. They'll try and start this is right this here. Drive in the air. Oh, we They'll both missed the tackle. That was Carter. sloppy. And yeah, this will be good for a pickup. Oh. Ride it out to the end. Oh, he did and not break that, did he? Okay, we're gonna play cover two. It's all good. Able to get the third down two and a half minutes remaining. They'll look to throw again. Oh, Diggs! Just and adding on top of his good game. Oh, I'm so and sorry for you, over betters. Back here, just shy of the twenty. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety, and you do that, that was a when solid play by him too. Eyes, sometimes your shoulders hold the safety. That's game, baby. Defense played lights out. Offense played okay, but we got the W. We got a lot of injuries on Smith both sides of the ball. And they're going to come to bite us in the butt later in the season, depending on what's going on. That's yeah, it. We snapped the losing streak here when they're after dropping one to the Bengals, and we dropped one pretty bad. Right? They just breathed a sigh of relief. Finally got a win. Needed one desperately. But Charles, we were treated to an excellent game today, capped off by that second half comeback. This was a joy to watch. Entertaining for us. Not so much to the team who led at halftime. And now is leaving here know that they let a win slip through their fingers tough one for them to carry home that game was fun the highlights that i showed was the best parts of the game obviously i'm gonna give the running backs credit i mean they were breaking tackles left and right and that line just got hurt and all, the, the line just couldn't hold up all running backs will have three plus carry plus three carry and break tackle for the next game which is huge we have three new injuries who are they Got Daryl Taylor, who's out for five weeks with broken ribs. Charles Cross, a big hit for our offense. Out four weeks with a dislocated elbow. And then Derek Hall with a dislocated hip. Looking at the box score, pretty low scoring game for the most part. Three points for the Arizona Cardinals in the first quarter. Then we each split the 10. Then the nine points for the Seattle Seahawks. One of them was a safety and man, that was beautiful. 350 offensive yards gained. I like that because that's realistic. Not even gonna lie. 
Offensive rush yards, 157 between Zach Charbonnet and Ken Walker. That's pretty good. We literally beat the Cardinals by one yard. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Offensive pass yards, we beat them, 193. Geno Smith had a pretty good game. We had less third down conversions than they did, but yet we still won the time of possession. I'm going to give credit to the run game for that. Geno Smith, again, not the greatest game in the world. 58% completion percentage, 225 pass yards, one passing touchdown. No interceptions. Give him credit for that. Kyler Murray threw one pick, 117 pass yards before he got hurt with a 47% completion percentage. And then Clayton Toon, terrible game. I mean, two interceptions, 109 pass yards, sacked four times. You know, that's just, how could you win a game with that? Ken Walker had himself a pretty good game. 101 rushing yards with 4.6 yards of carry and one rushing touchdown, baby. Pretty good touchdown too. Kyler Murray, next best rusher with Michael Carter. 10.3 yards a carry is overdoing what a quarterback should do. And honestly, 3.3 for a running back is not the greatest. So give the give the game ball to Kyler Murray, <laughs> even though he got injured. One rushing touchdown, he did fumble once. We couldn't recover that uh, fumble. I think he fumbled once, didn't he? And then Zach Charbonnet, 4.1 yards a carry, 53 rush yards, no touchdowns for him, but hey, it's all good. Marquise Brown, on the other hand, had himself a pretty good game. He had, a, I think he had a big reception too. 74 receiving yards, no touchdowns for them in the air at least. Will Disley had himself a pretty good game. Tackle-wise, Devin Bush had himself a game. Uh, Bobby Wagner was out most of the game with the fatigue. Quandre Diggs, on the other hand, had himself a pretty big game too. 11 tackles, two tackles for loss, an interception. <laughs> what else? What else? You know who else had himself a pretty good game? Five tackles for him, two tackles for loss. He had technically two deflections, but hey. Sack-wise, Boy Amafe had himself a pretty dang good game. And then Draymond Jones, but man, Boy Amafe. Who do you think is going to be the defensive player of the week for the Seahawks? Nevertheless, next week we're against the Browns, and this is going to be week eight. This is going to be a pretty big week for us. Let's take a look at a quick preview. So the Browns, three and three. The defensive ranking for the Browns, they're number eight. They're right behind us, and they've allowed very few touchdowns. This is going to be a good game. I don't know what the spread is going to be yet, but make sure you look at the comment section down below. Now, in order for us to make the playoffs, we got to hit a winning streak. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. Sorry, I haven't uploaded in a while, but I'm going to upload a little bit more at least three times this week with Madden. I will see you guys next time, and thank you for watching.